At ConocoPhillips, we generally plan multiple well projects simultaneously. Planning a full field development can take years, but a single well typically takes up to 18 months to plan. Every aspect of the well's placement and design is scrutinized to ensure that all legal, landowner, and company requirements are met. In addition, each well must be reviewed by the appropriate state or federal regulatory agency, and that agency must issue an approved permit before drilling can begin. In the Eagleford, drilling a typical well takes on average two to three weeks. Initially, a hole is drilled to a depth just below the local aquifers. It is then lined with steel casing and cement to create a safe barrier between the well and the aquifer. After that, drilling can continue to the target depth with additional casing added. Finally, an inner production casing is installed to provide a conduit for the completion activities and subsequent production of oil and natural gas. Once the well is drilled and well integrity is confirmed, Hydraulic fracturing, also known as fracking, begins thousands of feet below groundwater aquifers. Fracking is a completion method that has been used since the late 1940s. It takes, on average, five days to frack a well in the Eagleford. While drilling and completions activities are 24-7, this pace lasts for only a few months. After drilling and completions operations conclude, the well is put on production and will produce for up to 20 or 30 years, with very little activity at the well site other than routine maintenance. We design our facilities to reduce land impact. Once the drilling equipment is removed from a well site, portions of the site are reclaimed and reseeded with native plants, thus reducing our footprint. <laughs>